I'm trying to understand the cooling requirements for this PCB. It's jam-packed with components, so it could overheat. A thermal analysis to identify hot zones on the board will provide insight into my design. In SOLIDWORKS, we have two options for thermal analysis. SOLIDWORKS Simulation, an FEA tool, or SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation, a CFD tool. Both of these tools can help guide my design and provide detailed visual feedback on thermal environment before a single prototype is tested. Let's first set up the analysis in SOLIDWORKS Simulation. To ensure consistency and help streamline the setup, all components were assigned materials in SOLIDWORKS, which includes necessary thermal properties. The component specification sheet provided by the electrical department dictates the wattage for each component. To account for heat loss to the environment, a convection coefficient is applied to all outer surfaces. This is a pretty broad approximation, but it can help me understand where hotspots will occur on the board. At this stage in the design process, we don't know whether natural convection will be enough or if forced air convection is going to be required to cool the PCB. Checking out the results, we can see this cluster of chips is producing a hot zone. Changing the placement of the chips is not an option based on the spatial requirements, so it looks like we'll need fans to properly cool this board. While there are approximations we could make to mimic the behavior of the fans, a more robust method is to move to a CFD solver and incorporate the surrounding air. We'll start our analysis in SOLIDWORKS flow simulation just like before. All materials on thermal properties are carried over from SOLIDWORKS. In flow, the assumptions around convection are unnecessary since air is part of the simulation and convection is solved for us. This is a key differentiator between SOLIDWORKS simulation and flow. Since we know we'll need forced air to cool the PCB, I'll add fans at these locations on the enclosure and run the analysis. Just like SOLIDWORKS simulation, we can evaluate the temperature on the board and its components, but flow simulation allows us to investigate much further. We can see the cool air entering the enclosure and the effectiveness of the fans to direct it over the known hotspots and out of the air vents. Being able to view these types of results allows us to ensure that the fans are located at their optimal location to efficiently cool the PCB and components. At the beginning of the design, SOLIDWORKS simulation helped us understand the hottest locations on the PCB. It also highlighted the fact that natural convection is inadequate. We made the conclusion that we would need to add fans for proper cooling and ran the forced air convection analysis in flow simulation. Depending on the problem you're trying to solve, both the FEA and CFD approaches could have value, but flow simulation removes most of the guesswork for these types of problems. We can get a more granular set of results that incorporates not only the behavior of the PCB, but also the effectiveness of the fans and the design of the enclosure. Of course, we've only seen a small subset of the analyses types that can be solved in SOLIDWORKS simulation and flow simulation. So to learn more about the full capabilities of both these simulation tools, visit solidworks.com simulation today.